Yo ho hoy. What's good, everybody? I don't know why I did that. Oh, that's because I've been watching Zenkaidra. But yeah, so welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes Origin Snake Eyes. Now, uh, I got to briefly play with this figure early today that I got it in. I'm trying to bust out videos where I can because it's honestly been quite difficult trying to put out videos lately. I've been super duper busy. Um, summertime is just always a busy time for me. But um, yes. We have snake eyes and honestly i gotta say um it is different i like it um there's there's i can have a lot of fun modding it it's a very sleek technical design and i know some people may not like where the movie's going but i do not deny that this suit is cool in toy form so let's talk about it we have a quick look do a quick roundabout and i left the bandolier on because i feel like it's part of the costume as well as the gear that you get with him and I didn't want to make it one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm going to take it off and turn it into an accessory. It's pretty simple. Our visor is all black. Um, I think that's the one issue I have is the black on black. Uh, I know it's supposed to be that stealth design, but it's a mix between like a gloss and semi-gloss and matte. So I'm definitely trying to uh, figure out how I want to redo this, have it repainted. But the mix of the blacks are very good. They, I'm pretty sure they'll photograph really well. I have not taken photos yet. But... um. Articulation wise, I really like where this is going. He can look up with no issue. He can look down with no issue. We can go left, we can go right. We can tilt ever so slightly. The bandolier is really, really loose because it only tightens up when you have the sword on his back. Now without the sword on his back, I would honestly take the bandolier off because it just moves around way too much. Now, I think the only thing, oh wait, see, I'm tripping. I was gonna say the only thing I think this snake eyes is missing is a butterfly joint. But he actually has that. I just didn't get a chance to wiggle it around enough. I was too busy, like, messing around with poses. Now, we can actually go, ooh, we can stretch that really far back. I didn't even know that. So we actually have a nice bit of movement going backwards. And going forward, our arms actually get a knot of nice reach. Now, if I remember correctly, Swit Picks on IG actually premiered him and, uh, and uh, Storm Shadow, which is really dope. We have a nice double joint. We do have some bicep swivel. Actually, we have lots of biceps with it. <laughs> we have our double joint. We are on a vertical peg. So you won't do the left and right hinge. You'll actually go up and down on the hinge, karate chopping. So you actually have that on both hands. As far as our ab crunch goes, this is where it gets kind of uh, different, right? So you have this lower torso ball joint, the diaphragm joint that I actually like a lot, right? And it's not in the mid cut. The mid cut is just a regular up and down articulation. But the combination of the two in the right place actually gets you a lot of movement. That coupled with the fact that we have a pull down joint. We have a double joint. We do have a thigh swivel. And we have that heavy Hasbro ankle pivot articulation. Now, pretty much the combination of all these things allow for a really nice set of articulated movements, right? This will look really good doing really cool ninja poses. I think the only thing that's really drawing this back is that on our backhand side where the collar is, see if I can zoom in just a bit. This is going to hinder a bit of your backwards articulation for your head scope. So I don't know if you want to see. I'm pushing it to the limit. So that's that's on me. But right. If you can have it sit just a little bit higher. You can get that articulation to go back. If you sit the head just a bit higher, you actually have a lot of good movement. But once you snap it back on the ball peg, just a little bit lower, you're going to lose some of the articulation. So you got to keep that in mind. But overall, this guy has a lot of nice movement that I just really enjoy. Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Yeah. Now, accessory wise, it doesn't come with a lot, but it does come with some nice stuff. I am actually going to attach his sword. It's unsheathable, so you can unsheath it, sheath it. None of that part swapping stuff. You'll see the tab here. What you're going to do is you're going to line it up back with the bandolier. Pop that right in. And as you can see, bandolier moves no more. No more issues with the bandolier. Really nice to see that kind of movement. Um, I mean, sorry, restriction of movement going on doing that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. As far as can he reach backwards to grab his blade? Yes, he can. And because it has the vertical hinge, you should be able to make it look good. Yep, there we go. 
So yeah, we have Snake Eyes running to draw his blade. The blade itself actually does look pretty cool. It's a pretty simple blade, but we have that nice gold hilt piece here. That comes at the beginning of our katana. Um, it probably could be better, but I mean, it's a domestic blade. You can always swap it out for a third party blade or another sort of blade from someone else if you want. It's really going to be up to you. Now, we also get a nice set of, I, you know what? I actually forgot the name as I said it. As I was about, sorry, as I was about to say it. But um, these are not Teko Gata, forgot. But these short blades are really nice. They painted up really dirty to make it look like they are, I'm assuming they are supposed to be some sort of painting or, or, or glyphs on it because it's like if you feel it there are grooves there for like a certain design so I'm assuming these are going to be special ones right and that's it for the accessories and then we have our head sculpt the head sculpt is actually pretty nice I think this looks really a lot like the character looks good they even got the stubble on him well it's a little uneven but <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you like even it out it'll actually look really good on him and as far as how it looks on the body take a quick look I've actually tried not to watch any of the trailer so I can go in unspoiled for the movie so wow it actually looks pretty good I think the head looks a little bit sorry I think the head looks a little big for the body because it's a smaller body but it does look good on there. Now, real quick though, because he does come with trigger hands, right? I'm going to test out a weapon from Baroness because I got the whole wave. So we're just going to test out and see how Baroness's weapon looks in his trigger hands. I think it'll look just fine. It's, I'm not even going to put the head on because I actually want to test something else out. And yeah, he can hold the Baroness's weapon with no problem. Now, if you want to take a quick look about how it looks with the normal classified head on it I think this looks really good only problem is that it technically does not fit it's a little loose so it's gonna be a loosey-goosey on there so some sticky tack on there or some hot glue that some people use some people use the hot glue technique I just use a little bit of sticky tack I think this actually looks really good on this body I think this looks really dope so if you want to use some sticky tack and pop that on and make it look cool go for it now I'm gonna take a second, get myself together. Oh, one more thing I wanna test out is a Mezco weapon. So we're gonna try Mezco handgun in there because I wanna get ready to jump into our size comparisons. But if we try out a Mezco handgun, I think it'll warp out the hand just a little bit, but you can always change that back. But with a Mezco handgun, he can also hold those. So that's a plus two if you wanna use some, some uh, Mezco weapons and Mezco effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the time to get myself together as we jump into the size comparison. See you in a second. All right, guys, size comparison time. Uh, we have a lot to compare to, so let's do some G.I. Joe stuff first. G.I. Joe and Ninja related, I should say. Here we are up next to Scarlet. The movie one isn't out yet, or at least I don't have it yet. So here we are with the classified Scarlet. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's not too big, not too small. They're around the same size. Here we are with a troop builder from Cobra. As you can see, Snake Eyes is a little smaller, but I do like where this is going because they're because they're similar in size enough. You can have some fun with that, right? Let's take these guys away. Next up, you will do a oh, let's do a GI Joe Red Ninja. Very important if you want to do a Rashikage Ninjas. So here we are with that set up, looking pretty good so far. Oh, now we'll do the different Storm Shadows. I'm going to take him away, and now we're going to do. My Kit Bash Storm Shadow, which looks really good next to him. Then we'll do the other movie classified Storm Shadow, which I'm not too fond of how this one came out. It is close to the movie design from what I've seen in posters. But uh, yeah, it just doesn't do it next to that. Um, I was about to say comic because I action force, but it's just I don't know. It doesn't work for me. This this one. But yeah. Next up, we'll do Articulated Icon Ninja. 
in case you want to mix it up have them around a little bit closer to the same size have a little bit of fun next up we have the movie baroness i think this one's actually the most important so far outside of storm shadow she is around the same size as him but uh honestly i really like that movie design on this baroness um it is very close to the comics only thing i think that's really different is probably her face <laughs> but I, I think it's really close to the actual comic design and i like how they went with it so let's take these guys away now last thing on the gi joe list is comparing him to his actual classified counterpart and the, the show slash comics or whatever you want to take this snake eyes from but yeah so far so good I, I really like how this is coming out right next up we'll have a lightning collection white ranger we'll do a oh you know what here is a mythic legions show you how much other stuff is just bigger <laughs> right Take those guys away. Next up, we'll do ooh, Mezco Gomez. I think it has a command that kind of fits this style, right? <laughs> we'll do SH Fig Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Didn't mean to cut on his lights, but we'll go with that. Um, I think that about covers most of it. Yeah, I think I've covered what I could thought about it anything else i'll probably put in the picture somewhere but thank you guys for truly enjoying this video taking the time to watch it having a good old time for real i appreciate you guys so thank you as always please be good do good drink your water guys uh -huh.